Yes, it's true. People have been stealing my videos, re-uploading them on other channels, and they've been doing it for quite some time. So what can I do about it? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Let's go. This situation is exactly what it sounds like. People have been downloading a copy of my videos from Studio Live today and re-uploading it on their channel so that they can get the views. That doesn't seem right now, does it? In fact, this is happening all over YouTube. Lots of channels, big and small, are having their hard work taken by other people and then re-uploaded. They may add AI voiceover or intros and outros, but quite often they're just taking the whole video and re-uploading it on their channel with the express purpose of getting views for themselves instead of the original creator. However, YouTube have given us a tool to try and combat this. Let's take a look. I'm here in my YouTube studio and you may not have even come down this far, but down on the left here, you'll see this one called copyright and matches. Yes, YouTube allow you to see any matches. And that means anytime someone's used some or all of your video in their video and it matches that, it lets you know about it. So you may not even know this is here because you don't get notifications and things. You just have to come in here and check. Now, because I do a music show, some of these are actually music videos that I've played on my show and then they've produced a video and they've put it on their channel. That's 100% okay. In fact, that's what I want. But you probably notice there's a couple in here that are actually videos of mine that people have used. So let's dive in and see how this works and what actions I can take. What about this? This one, how to use auto-tune in BandLab Mobile. Now that's a one minute short video that I produced that's had a lot of views in the hundreds of thousands of views. So not surprisingly, someone else has grabbed this one and they've uploaded it. Now, they've only had nine views. So I'm actually lucky that I've not been impacted by this significantly, but nine views is nine views. So what we can do is we can hit the button over here, the little drop down arrow to expand the information. And it gives you some interesting stuff here. It tells you their channel, this channel called 44. We can see that they had three, 342 subscribers and this has had nine views. Their video URL is there and my video URL is here. And the content appears in zero to 50. Seconds. So the whole one minute of my video has been replicated and put in their video. Let's click the URL and take a look at the video on their channel. And here it is, how to use auto-tune in BandLab Mobile Fire with bad capitalization, hashtag hip hop, rap, instrumental, etc. I'm not gonna subscribe to this channel. I'm not gonna leave a comment because there's some things I can do. Let's just hit play and see if they've adjusted the audio or if it's just 100% my video. Auto-tune here in BandLab Mobile is super simple to add it simply tap on the track and then tap a that's yours truly so youtube has identified the match we've checked it it's definitely ours what can we do about it well if we hover over up the top here you'll see we have options we can move this to the archive if i just don't care about this and i just want to let it go i can do that i can also use this one which is to request the video removal i can contact the channel or i can do this one which is view the channel which we just did there if i want to get more details more information or maybe i want to check their email address and contact them i don't recommend that go do any vigilante stuff you can do it all here within youtube so with this one uh why don't we do the request video removal first and i'll show you how that works so we're going to click on the removal request and we get this screen here and if we scroll down on this you can see yep there's the in infringing video there's my content there's the location all the details are auto populated but now I need to put in some details here. And this is why not a lot of people are doing this because unfortunately it's at this point in the process that some hurdles are put in place. I need to put in my name, my phone number, my primary email, which is Studio Live Today, that's fine. My country, other emails, my city, my address, which is all required. All of this stuff is required because I'm putting in a formal copyright takedown notice through YouTube. I can then do a couple of things here with the removal notice. And that includes a seven day notice. This is the friendly little knock on the door saying, hey, if you don't remove this in seven days, you may get a copyright strike. Or I can do a standard, which is remove it right now. And if they don't, then they could potentially get a copyright strike on their YouTube channel. Uh, I can also prevent future copies of this content from appearing on YouTube. It says if your takedown request is valid, YouTube will try to prevent new uploads from appearing on the platform. And that 
that's using the YouTube Content ID system, which I've talked about in other videos. You can find those in the description. And then we have legal agreements and we need to sign it. So yes, this is a legal document. And I know I've led in with this saying, oh, we can just do this. You want to be sure and you want to make sure that you want to spend the time doing this. So is nine views worth my time to do all of this? I don't think so. I'm actually going to back out of this. I'm going to hit the X button and come back out here. In fact, I'll be honest with you, I have never followed through with a complete removal request because the effort involved and the fact that you have to put all of your details in there every single time, it is just more of a hassle than the actual value of it. Now, if someone had a video, and I know other channels have had this, where we're talking thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of views with my content, sure, I'm going to get angry and I'm going to do something about it. But in this case, uh, I'm probably going to leave it. Let's scroll through and have a look at some other ones, shall we? There's one that you might recognize, uh, 68 views, and it's clearly copying my removing gunk with your toothpick video. Hey, that one's got my logo on it. That's a bit weird. That's how to get paid with a muse again 188 views there uh, this is just Thomas Christ and we're playing each other's music that's okay uh, this is interesting this this one has 1.4 um, thousand subscribers and only nine views here but this is an interesting one because this is one where they've added some stuff so let's hit the more button here to expand it out and jump in and check out their video so this time if we hit play <laughs> Okay, that's really odd, right? I don't understand why that seven seconds of footage is there. This is a case where they've actually removed my audio. So they're just putting the video of my video on this one. So it's still using 100% of my video, but they've just added something to the start to, I don't know, trick the algorithm. Again, it was a couple of years ago, it's had nine views. It's not really worth my trouble. So with this one, we're just gonna archive that one away and forget that it ever happened. Here's an interesting one. This channel has 7.1K subscribers. It's only got 37 views. So again, not really worth my time or energy, but I wanna show you the other thing we can do, which is actually to contact the channel. We can click on this little option and go through that process. And here's the form that we can use this time. This is the gentle approach. This is the, hey, you might not realize this, but you're using content from my channel. So you can see here, it's got the subject there, the channel name, I put in my email address here. And yes, you have to provide your email address because this is YouTube's equivalent of, my name's Paul, uh, this is between y'all. Because you can see there, if you'd like to start a conversation, here's your email address. So YouTube would like to uh, stand back and uh, let you sort it out in this case. So if you wanna go down that track, and again, please just be be civil. Like People don't really do this with the illest of intent. I mean, maybe they don't know what they're doing. Maybe they think it's fair use. It's not, but it's generally not worth tracking down and doing anything like this and, and emailing and following up because you're going to spend a lot of time with this. And how many views did this have? 37 views? It's really not worth it in the long run. And the final option you have there is to click on the final little thing, which takes you straight into the YouTube channel. Now, if you want to find more about the channel, you can click the more button and sometimes you'll be able to get the actual email address. Not surprisingly, most of the channels that are using other people's content don't have an email address attached, but you can try and find that there if you want to go through that process. And once you've decided what you want to do with these, you can actually select over here on the left. So I know a few of these I can just archive. So we'll multi-select uh, a couple of these and then we can actually archive them. So we'll click the archive. You can do multi-request removal. So you've got one channel that's done a whole bunch of them. You can do them all at once, but I'm just going to archive those away. And those are now stored over here in your archive. So you can come back to this at any time if you want to, if you want to reevaluate and maybe change your mind on these, but they'll sit here in your archive and you can redo anything at a later stage. So there it is. That's everything you need to know about channel copyright and YouTube's match. 
is it worth following through? Am I going to go and get back all the many tens of views that have been taken from my channel? Probably not. But it's good to know that if someone takes some content and it is successful uh, and I should be getting those views, that there's something I can do about it. If you want to learn a heap more about creating, recording and releasing music or even just running a YouTube channel or sharing your music online, check out studiolivetoday.com and the other videos linked in the description. I'll see you next time.